What's good, everybody? In today's video, we're looking at absolute value functions. We're going to show you how to graph by transformation, how to solve for the zeros, and how to identify no solution absolute values. As we start this video off, most important thing we need to know is just the parent graph, which should look like this. We're going to have a vertex at zero, zero. And when we look at the absolute value function equation, we should understand that HK is going to be our vertex. So when I look at this, they're asking me to shift the graph to the left four and down three. So my new vertex will be at negative four and negative three. Let's grab the ruler and now draw those straight lines in. So we know our graph should look something like this, right? Now, this is graphing by transformations. And this is different than actually finding the solutions to the absolute value function. And this is what I mean. So when we want to solve and find the zeros, right? The X intercepts, these two points, we're going to substitute F of X with zero, right? So I have X absolute value of X plus four minus three is equal to zero. I just put it at the end because I like my equations like that. So now the most important thing, we have to isolate the absolute value and get it by itself. Once I do, and I add three on both sides, we have to make sure that this equation that we created is a positive value because we take, take the, the absolute value of a negative number. Now that we have this equation, we can now split it into two different problems. What do I mean? So we have the absolute value of X plus four is equal to three. And we have the absolute value of X plus four is equal to negative three. So when I drop my brackets, all I'm going to have is X plus four is equal to negative three. I'm going to get X is equal to negative seven. So I know this further point is going to be negative seven comma zero. Now, when I go back to the first equation, right? the absolute value of X plus four is equal to positive three. After we drop our brackets, right? And then we subtract, we're gonna get X is equal to negative one. And this is what this point right here will be, negative one zero. So understand the difference between graphing by transformation, which is what we did at first to get the vertex versus finding out if there are any solutions or where does the graph cross the X axis. But before we go in problem two, I want to show you an absolute value function that does not have solutions, but we can still graph it by transformations. In problem number two, now we're looking at a new absolute value function and we have to pay attention to the fact that we do have an A, which means that this absolute value function is going to open down, but that's not the most important thing I want to focus on. So after we graph this, right? We have H, we have K. So they tell me that I move to the left one down two. So my new vertex is gonna be at negative one, negative two. And we should know that this graph is opening down because of this negative in front. Now for this video, I'm not gonna focus on how to graph when we have A in front. I wanna focus on something different. So this is how this graph should look. Here goes our vertex. So we were able to graph by transformation, but what if the problem then asked you to identify the solutions to the absolute value graph? So before we get to the actual answer, let's just start working it out. So we replace f of x with zero like the first problem. So I have negative two times the absolute value of x plus one minus two is equal to zero. Right, we know we have to get the absolute value by itself. I add two on both sides first. This is what we're gonna get. So right now we're in the clear because this is positive. However, after we isolate further and get the absolute value by itself entirely now, meaning we're ready to solve and create our two equations, we notice that our answer now is negative, meaning that we cannot do it, right? There is no solution for this absolute value graph. And just to prove this, look at it. This graph in blue does not and will not cross that X axis, which are the solutions to the absolute value function. Really hope this video was helpful for you guys. Clearing up how to graph absolute value by transformations. 
how to find the zeros, and how to determine if there are actual solutions after graphing the absolute value function. Thank you guys so much for joining us today on Algebra 1 with Mr. Peters. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave comments for future videos you guys would like to see on our channel, or if you guys had questions on today's video. Thank you for joining.